Hey, I'm Steve from This Week With Cars, and today I drove my Pinsgauer 710M down to the local Jeep uh, playground. And there should be a bunch of people joining me later, but I came down here early so I could give you a little tour around this thing. This is one of the ultimate off-road vehicles. It's a lot faster than a classic Land Rover, a lot more capable. It has lockers and portal axles, and it's also lightweight like a Land Rover. The Pinsgauer is an Austrian military vehicle built by Steyr Pook. It has an air-cooled engine like a Volkswagen. This is an extremely capable truck, and it's only about the same length as a Jeep, but you can carry 10 people, you can carry two people in front, and another eight people in the back. It does have portal axles, which gives it very good ground clearance, because the center of the wheel is actually below the axle. You can see it sits up very high, so it's a little chore to get in. There isn't a step. You kind of have to bring your foot way up here and then pull yourself in. Once you're in the Pinsgauer, you have a couple gauges. This is a couple rows of circuit breakers. Uh, you have your lights, blower fan, windshield wipers, and of course the ignition key and the starter button. Over here is the parking brake. This is to switch between high and low. Obviously you have your shifter right here. You can see that this is actually a dog leg gearbox. So reverse is above first because second through fifth are the gears that you're gonna be using the most. And then these three levers here activate your different diff locks. You have a center diff lock, a rear diff lock, and a front diff lock. And you can activate any of them in any order that you want to. Uh, how these things work on this truck is there's actually hydraulic master cylinders behind these levers So it's just like pushing a brake pedal and then through hydraulic power down to a slave cylinder That's on either the center diff the rear diff or the front diff It then can lock the axle so that both wheels or both the front and the rear axles turn at the same time Right behind the seats is a cage where you can mount your toe strap and other things. I have some other recovery gear in here as well as a generator. On the sides is a couple storage compartments. In here is the two batteries as this is a 24 volt system. And this one is a storage cubby. You can mount your shovel right there. Coming along in the back, spare tire. This is one of the original uh, Swiss tires right here. If we open up the back door, you can see inside here, you can carry eight people. These also, uh, the seats also fold down into a flat bed so that you can transport things in the back of here. You can see the cage that separates the rear from the driver's cabin. And of course this soft top rolls up. So you can either have the sides open, you could have the rear open, you could have everything open. You could have just this window here open. Or you could take it completely off. And then the soft top that covers the front of the cab is a separate one that you can just have just the cab covered and leave the back totally open. Uh, it can be configured in a lot of different ways. Even the doors are two pieces. So you could take the top half of the door off. And of course, the windshield hinges down as well. So if you were to take everything from the belt line off, you could also fold the windshield down and you could fit it into a very low hanging area.
Looks like I've wrapped this uh, branch clear around my axle there. Made it look easy. Okay, the FJ tried to follow me through the mud hole and I'm on a bit of a rescue mission now. I got him out of there. There is still another Jeep stuck over here. Well, that was a pretty successful day. I did break both of my mirrors after rescuing that FJ. Uh, I think it's just too cold out here and the plastic got really brittle because it didn't take much to break them. Uh, other than that, it was a really fun day. Hope you liked this video. And if you wanna see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.